Good morning, artists. Today we are going to start on the first step of making this really amazing artwork right here. This artwork is an optical illusion, which means it kind of looks like something that's kind of moving away from you or maybe coming toward you. And in this case, we are going to be creating a spider web. So here's where we're headed. Let me show you um, where you will end up today. So here is our goal for today. So you'll notice the spider web is all drawn and the lines are traced. Um, so what I want to talk to you about first is something called a radial design. Now, a radial design it might sound really tricky, but it's actually something that you're familiar with. So basically the word radial design, I don't know if you can kind of hear radiate in that word right there, but a radial design is when lines radiate out from the center of something. So for example, in our spider web, you'll notice that the lines are all coming from the center. But there are other things that you might know where lines come out from the center. So for example, one of the things that we did this year was to create, and you might recognize it as I draw it here, we made snowflakes. Okay, That is an example of a radial design because it starts in the center and the lines radiate out. Another familiar example might be when you've drawn a sun. So all of the rays of the sun radiate out from the center. We can also use radial design when we make flowers. Something else that we have done in art before as well. So. Radial designs are really cool in art and especially in this spider web project that we're going to start today. So what you will need in order to get started is a pencil and a piece of paper. I am going to place my paper down and the your first job is really to just make a dot in the center. Now I'm going to go, I'm going to press down a little bit harder with my pencil so that you can actually see it. But what I would encourage you to do as you're drawing is to go very lightly because guess what? We're going to end up making mistakes and it will make it way easier for you to erase if your lines are light. So right now I have a dot in the center of my paper and first I'm going to make a horizontal line. That's a line that goes from side to side connecting to the sides of my paper. So I'm going to draw a line that goes this way and then a line that goes in the other direction. And you know what? It does not need to be perfectly straight so don't feel like you need to use a ruler or anything and don't be upset if your line gets a little wiggly. It just makes your spider web look even more interesting and unique. Now I'm going to make a vertical line. So a vertical line is a line that goes up and down. So I'm going to start at the center. I find that that's a little bit easier. And then I'm going to start at the center and go up. Okay. So, so far I've broken my paper up into four sections. Now, since I've gone horizontal and I've gone vertical, I have one more direction of line. You might remember learning about that earlier in the year and that is diagonal. So what I'm gonna do is start at my dot and go to the corner, and then I'm gonna start at the dot and go to the other corner. That one got a little wiggly, but I'm okay. With that, I'm just gonna leave it. All right, so what I have right now is already a radial design. This is actually sort of the, the same framework we used when we started our snowflake. Now the next, the next step gets a little bit more tricky and in this step really we're using a curve. So sometimes I like to tell my students that it kind of looks like a smile. Okay, and when you're curving, you're curving in toward the center. So I'm going to show you what I mean by that. I'm going to flip this back over and make sure you can see it. All right, now I'm going to start just a little ways out from the center. I'm noticing that it's kind of hazy here. There, it came back into focus. All right, and I'm going to make a curve. So right here, I'm just going to make it curve in. The sides of my smile 
meet the lines that I already made. Now I'm going to curve in, curve in, curve in, curve in, and then I just repeat over and over again so it's like a pattern until I connect where I started, okay? Now, sometimes this is really tricky, so I wanna show you um, a special strategy that has helped a lot of my students. If you'd like, you can make some little dots going around in a circle. Okay, so see how those dots go all around in a circle? Now, I have lines that I need to connect. So I'm gonna go curve in, curve in, curve in. Now, another strategy, I missed that one a little bit. Another strategy that works for me when I'm drawing this is that I actually like to turn my paper as I'm making it so that it's easier for me. So feel free, if that works for you, to turn your paper as you're drawing. All right, so I've got two so far, and now I'm just gonna continue making these dots, if that worked for you. If you don't need the dots, you don't have to make them. Whoops, curve in, curve in, and then again, just repeating. I think I can do one more here, and then I'm gonna make some going off the edge as well. I think I'll have room for that. So you'll notice I didn't have room on this end, so I'm just gonna sort of imagine where that point would be. And I'll show you what I mean by that when I get there. So I'm just gonna curve in, and curve in, curve in, and again, and again. That one just kind of went off the edge so that I kind of um, have to imagine again where it would be because I can't see it. It's like the world of my artwork exists beyond the edges of the paper. I kind of like that idea. All right, so here is my spider web. I'm all finished with the drawing itself. And then the final step that we're gonna do today is just to trace our lines. So in my example, I'm planning on adding paint. Um, if you don't have paint at home to use, then you can just use whatever coloring materials that you want. But because I'm planning on using paint later on to color this in, um, I like to trace my lines with a crayon. So I took one color crayon, in this case it's kind of like a raspberry color, that red violet, and I just pressed down really hard on my lines, retracing, so that they really stand out. Now of course you could do this with, if, you're, if you are not planning to paint, um, then you could use a marker or a Sharpie to trace if you wanted to. That's totally up to you. But again, if you're gonna paint, it's a great idea to use um, the crayons because that will resist the paint as we move on to the next step. So here is where you should be. If you find that when you trace, you've got some stray pencil lines hanging out left behind, just give it a quick erase and then you'll be all ready for next week's step when we start to add color to this. So have fun making your spider web and working on your radial design and we will come back to this next week. Take care, everyone.